back. You're not getting enough off your NLs. <laughs> Feel free, it's allowed now. <laughs> Who wants to start us off? Jimmy, then Grant. Oh, man, I really, I did you dirty there, I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, Josh. Yeah, how does your role change when you're playing with another big man versus when you're basically the only big man on the, in the lineup? Um, I guess that's just really going from the four to the five. And um, I guess my role really, um, I guess is the same, just kind of different, different positions. Um, and I think the biggest change in that, whether I'm playing like, for example, with Josiah or Urosh, um, with those two, it's probably on the defensive end, um, whether compared to guarding their four or their five. But I think, um, like, when you ask that question, that the thing that comes to mind is just rebounding um, on, on both ends of the floor, um, whether I'm at the four or the five, I think that's the most important thing. How did yesterday compare to the 79 conference? <laughs> how, did, how did yesterday compare to? I felt a lot older yesterday compared to when I won, won in 79. How did yesterday compare to? 17-18 regular season time, I mean, just the, the run you guys have been on versus what you've done in the past. Um, it, as bad as I hate to say it, um, it felt a lot sweeter yesterday, and um, and, and and don't discredit that um, championship that, that we had in 17-18 and, and those teammates, um, but I mean, a lot sweeter, I was a lot more emotional, um, and, and I think maybe because maybe I had a bigger role in this, um, on this team um, compared to the last team. But, um, man, it was it was great. But both of them were, were really good. Um, there's not really much you can say. You got to watch that, that lineup that Rick used a lot with Grant to the five, Admiral to the four a few years back, and now you're five in that lineup a lot of the end of games. What's it like playing in that lineup? Does that remind you kind of what you guys had in the end of games a couple years ago? Um, I, I never really thought about it that way, um, but I guess it is very similar having a four. Um, you know, I guess Josiah and Admiral are, are um, similar in their ways. Um, they can play multiple positions. Multiple positions can defend a lot of positions as well. And um, having that stretch four and then, you know, playing with, with really only one big man. Um, you know, I think that whatever uh, lineup the coaches put out there is, is uh, you know, the best, putting us in the best position to win. And I think, you know, we play to our strengths a lot, but then sometimes we have to play um, to what our opponents giving us as well. And, you know, Texas a and they play a lot of guards. And so playing just side at the four a lot, um, you know, that's what we had to do. But then sometimes we have to go big. Um, so it really just depends on how the game is going. Brent and then Jimmy. John, was this weekend the best weekend of basketball that, that you guys have played this season? And why do you think this team has continued to get better throughout the year? Um, I would say, you know, we're definitely playing some of our best basketball right now. Um, and we're really meshing, really playing well together. And what was the second? Can you get the mic back? Why, why, why have you guys gotten better throughout the year? Um, I would say... First of all, credit to our coaches for, for pushing us. Um, and I think that's that's what Coach Barnes says a lot, is just getting better, getting better, getting better. And I think that kind of goes to us as players and listening to what they say, but also just us buying in and everyone buying into the role and really having each other's back and knowing what all we can accomplish if we just play together and try to get better every day. John in the SEC tournament, you've played all these teams at least once. Do you like the idea of going against an unfamiliar opponent like Plum? Um, I don't really know how I feel about that. I was going to give you an honest answer, and that's the honest answer. Um, I mean, when it comes to the NCAA tournament, I guess you could be in either position that you could have you could play um, some teams that you played before, but then also play teams you've never seen. Um, but I think that by the time that we play Longwood on Thursday, that we'll probably know Longwood probably better than any SEC opponent that we played. Um, so um, our coaches, I know as soon as they came out, I know they were all on it. Um,
um, getting us ready to uh, scout them and see what we need to do. Hey, John, uh, Reese is driving back, and, and he wanted to uh, to ask me how you view your role being the middleman in the 2 3 zone. Middleman in the 2 3 zone. Um, I like it. Um, kind of reminds me of, you know, like maybe high school days or AAU days where I was always the big man. But um, I think that just shows um, sometimes I think we really pride ourselves on defense and especially our man to man defense. And but sometimes you just got to switch it up and throwing some zone in there. Uh, maybe you can throw them off guard and whether it's playing me in the middle or the wing, whatever it is, um, just trying to mix it up. And like I said, try to slow them down or whatever we need to do. John, why is this year's team better equipped to avoid what happened last year in the first round? And just how much is last year's first round loss motivation for uh, this weekend? Um, I think last year overall, um, just I've talked about before, but just with COVID and everything, I mean, it was not fun, the fans, the lack of fans, everything. Um, but I think this year that we really know what's at stake and we know that as of right now, that our next game can be our last game. And we know how important and serious and locked in and focused we have to be for every game. And um, just taking it one game at a time uh, and focusing on what we need to do. Hey, John. I'm I sure like this weekend was a whirlwind, but are there moments that stand out to you or that are special to you already? Um. I was really thinking about, uh, you know, this whole thing. I mean, I'll, I really haven't, haven't stopped thinking about yesterday. Um, and I was thinking of a few different things. I was like, first of all, I'm so blessed to be in this position, um, to be at Tennessee. Um, Vol Nation is great. I love my teammates. I love my coaches. Um, what stands out, I mean, just being there, and being able to accomplish something that hasn't been done since my freshman year, um, and being able to win that uh, tournament championship. Did nobody get the joke? Oh, I got you, I got you. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> I said, being able to accomplish something that I haven't done since my freshman year. Great argument. Richard, Richard. Richard. No, 79 was my original <laughs> freshman year, yeah. <laughs> Okay, anyways, but yeah. Tough crowd. Yeah, come on, guys. No tips. No tips. <laughs> this is empty. <laughs> um, but yeah, just uh, being able to do something that hasn't been done in so long and uh, make history, uh, like I said, with my teammates and my coaches, and my family was there as well. So just being able to share those times with some people that I love um, is times you'll never forget. And then I think that the biggest thing that, that we talked about is enjoying that, um, but then focusing back, and there's still a lot of work to do. John, kind of following that, it's your last trip to the big dance. How does that hit you yet, and what are your emotions like heading into this week? Um, it hasn't really hit me yet. Um, really, this year, um, I was just lucky and so excited to play in the SEC tournament because of what happened last year and to be able to win it um, was so fun and so I feel the same way about um, about this year that just me being able to play with my teammates and then us playing the way we are um, I mean we just got to stay focused and uh, keep playing together. John for you personally how much different will this trip to Indianapolis be than last year's when obviously you had so much going on last year? I hope it is like day and night difference. Um, me playing, us winning, those have got to be the two biggest differences that um, fans, um, and then really just the whole situation up there. Um, it was not great, and hopefully it will be great when, when we leave. You shared a very nice moment with Tom on the court yesterday in Tampa, and then Chet as well, both of them. You spent a lot of time around the last 47 years. What, what were those moments like? 43. My bad, like Wes, yeah. Uh, what were those moments like for you? Um, I mean, I was celebrating with my teammates, and I saw Tom, and everybody was celebrating, and he was just kind of off by his lonesome. So I just, 
I just felt bad for him that he had no friends to celebrate with. So um, me being the kind of kind and loving, caring person I am, I figured it would be a good gesture for me to, you know, reach out to somebody that had no friends and uh, just kind of by themselves when everybody else was celebrating. So that's when I tried to show an act of kindness to Tom. No, I'm just kidding. Um, me and Tom, I mean, we've, I, I tell him all the time, um, I give him a hard time because he always tries to talk to me in a way that an SID would talk to a player. And I say, Tom, listen, I said, we're more than just an SID to a player. I said, we're a friend to a friend, like a bro to a bro. I said, I said you're not going to talk to me like we're more than SID to players. So, um, I mean, we've, Tom has been one of my biggest mentors, like a big brother um, over my time here. And uh, I'm forever grateful for him. And I told him, uh, what were we talking the other day? I said, how often you think um, I'm gonna come see him after the season, or when I leave here, and uh, how often we're gonna call each other. So uh, we better stay in touch. He's got my number, so hopefully he doesn't lose it. Oh, oh, you asked about Chad too. I can't leave Chad out. Sorry, um, Chad. Chad, also the same way. Um, I, I really have the same relationship with Chad as I do Tom. That, but but Chad's a little bit older, so Chad's more of a father figure to me. Um, so um, Chad fixes really good spaghetti, so I like to, to go to Chad's house to for spaghetti night. Um, but as you guys know, over my time here, my six years. Um, I've had a lot of injuries, so I've spent a lot of time with Chad, and so uh, we've grown very close, and so being able to share this moment with um, those guys, uh, it, it was great. Why do you think you're deserving of tips? I think I'm deserving of I think I am deserving tips today because I have, me and my teammates have completed something that has been done in 43 years, and I didn't tell you this, guys, but all the tips that I get today I'm going to be split between me and my teammates. So it's going to be going around my teammates. So we won a championship. I was just trying to give back to them a little bit. That's all. You guys don't have much to be splitting in there, right? No, we don't. <laughs> you know, we'll get to 362,000. No. You seen how much journalists make? We're going to make a lot of money. Yeah, you're making yeah. more than we do. That's pretty poor. Not proud for Tom. Maybe it should be the other way around. I should tip you guys. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 We'll give it to you.